Hey guys, it's Michaela, and today I'm gonna to walk you through how to use WhatsApp Web on iPhone. It's really simple, so let's jump in. The first thing you wanna do is to download the app. Um, you can't just type in whatsapp.com on your Safari search and uh, go ahead and use it as you do on your desktop. You have to download the app. So to do that, you go to the App Store, you type in WhatsApp, it should be the first one up there, the same emblem, the same icon. Go ahead and download that, and once you're there, we can open it. Basically, it just sets you up with your name and your username. You go through and you can add a profile picture like I did. It's super simple. Once you do that, I'm gonna show you how to use this app. Um, basically, to connect it to your WhatsApp on your desktop, all you have to do is hit WhatsApp Web and Desktop, and then hit Link a Device. You can put in your password, and then basically it's gonna ask you to put the phone up to your computer where the uh, QR code is. To find that on your computer, all you have to do is type in web.whatsapp.com and then a page like this is gonna show up. Once you have that QR code up, use the phone like we did and then scan that code on your computer and then it will link your devices. I'll do that with you. So once you go to web.whatsapp.com, it will bring you to this page where it'll give you a QR code and all you have to do is go to your app, go ahead and click that button where it says scan or connect to web and then scan the QR code like you would do at a restaurant right now. So I'll show you, I'm gonna go back to the app right now. All right, so once we're here, it's connected. Your phone will be connected to your web browser. So anything you do on the WhatsApp on your desktop, it's gonna mirror into your phone's app and vice versa. If I did something like message on my phone, it's gonna show up on my desktop version, which is super convenient. Basically, it's gonna be the same kind of layout. We have all of our stuff underneath settings here where you can change notifications, change um, sounds, you can go to your account, change your privacy around. Um, right next to that is your chats where you're gonna do all your messages. If you wanna create a new chat, you just hit this up here and it's your little chat icon. You can go through and send it to a new person. Just the same simple format as the desktop version. There's the camera option in the middle. There's calls options where it's all your calls are here. You can add a call by hitting this button at the very top and you can choose somebody to call. And then your status is here. You can change your status privacy settings by hitting privacy settings and going ahead and changing it to whatever you would like. Or you can add your status here by putting um, a new photo or writing, whatever you'd like to customize your profile. Uh, but basically that's it. That is how you use the WhatsApp web on your iPhone. You have to download the app to do it. You you can't just go you know to whatsapp.com just like you could on your computer so it's a little different there but it works the same you know it's going to work vice versa and it's going to be compatible either way if you guys have any questions on that let us know in the comments below if not don't forget to like and don't forget to subscribe